Hey everybody, welcome back to another uh, JBoz Gaming video. This is your host, JBoz, and today we're going to talk about consumables. So let's uh, hop into a World War II mode uh, and take uh, a second to get into the uh, World War II main garage screen. We're just going to pick a tank. I happen to have the T29 selected, so we'll just do that one. Uh, we're going to now scroll down uh, from the top of the customization screen to consumables, and you'll have three slots for consumables. Um, I'm just going to pick this first slot. It'll take us into the consumables screen, and <clears throat> it tells you uh, on this screen if you have a consumable selected uh, or uh, highlighted, I should say, uh, it will show you um, what that consumable does. So we'll go through each one of these, but in order to navigate, you use the uh, left joystick. Um, there is a an option to auto resupply the consumables if you use them, and you can always hit the X button, and that will take you into the resupply options. What you want to do is you want to make sure you come into auto resupply if you do resupply consumables, and make sure that you're using silver uh, to resupply these uh, consumables. Uh, versus using gold uh, so you really don't want to uh, use your gold up uh, when you resupply your tank so always use um, silver uh, to resupply your consumables and then of course to get out of this uh, you can just hit the back button but that's where you set uh, what kinds of uh, wh whether you use silver or gold to uh, re resupply your consumables uh, also at the, at the above uh, uh, screen you, you can use your left joystick to select which uh, consumable slot you're trying to uh, work with. So you work with each slot one at a time. Um, sometimes people find this tricky because they, they select that first slot. It moves the, the, the cursor down to uh, the specific consumables. They pick that consumable and then they end up picking, uh, they think they're picking the second consumable. And what they've done is actually uh, only changed the first slot so you have to actually go back up and move your cursor over to the second slot in order to pick the second consumable all right let's get into this so um, for each consume there's actually eight different uh, types of consumables that you can pick from that you can put into three different consumable slots on your tank um, we're gonna go through each one and, and kind of let you know what they do the first one here that we have selected is the enhanced repair kit. The enhanced repair kit instantly repairs all modules when you use it. So if you've got a damaged ammo rack or a damaged gun or, or whatever it is, uh, a module on your tank, if it's damaged and you use this, it does consume or it does uh, fix or repair that, uh, that particular module uh, that's damaged, any module that's damaged. Um, it does take time to recharge. This is an enhanced repair kit, and what happens is um, this repair kit you can use as many times in battle as, as you want, uh, but it does have a cooldown period of one minute. So, so once you use it, you have a minute before you can use it again. But you're always charged for the enhanced type consumables. Um, so, for example, this one... If you have this equipped, and I do have it equipped in the first slot on this tank, um, I am charged 10,000 gold for every single battle uh, that I have this consumable on my tank, no matter whether I use it or not. If I go into battle and I have this on my tank and I don't use it at all, I'm still charged 10,000 uh, silver for this particular consumable. And actually, it shows you right there where it says auto resupply. It will show you actually what you're being charged per battle for your consumables. Um, also, on the end screen of a battle, you can get to detailed information, and we'll go over that in a, in a later video. But it'll break down what you what you were charged for your consumables in that screen as well. Um, so this is the first consumable that you can pick. The next uh, consumable that you can pick is just the repair kit. Notice there's an enhanced repair kit and repair kit. The repair kit is um, a one-time use consumable. So that means you can only use it once per battle. 
uh, it, and when and if you do not use it, you are not charged. It stays on your tank. You don't you don't have to pay ten thousand silver for it, um, but you only get one use per battle. So once you use it, it's gone. You don't get to use it again, and you have no more repair kits if that's the only one that you have equipped on your tank. So just know that you can you can only use the repair kit one time in a battle. Um, now, what does these two repair kits do? Well, the enhanced repair kit reduces your repair time by 15% and it instantly repairs all of your modules when you actively use it. So let's say you get, um, let's say you get tracked and you don't wanna use your repair kit to repair your tracks, then what this uh, enhanced repair kit does is reduce the time it takes to repair your tracks. Uh, where this, this particular uh, consumable will only reduce that repair time by 10%. It also instantly repairs all modules when actively used. When you select it and use it in battle, it will repair all all uh, damaged modules, um, but you can only use it one time. So that's the difference between these two uh, consumables. Now, similar to the enhanced repair kit and the repair kit, you have an enhanced med kit and a uh, what I call a standard med kit. Uh, and so the difference here is the the chance i guess the difference here is the the passive boost that you get from these uh two different uh consumables uh the enhance gives you minus 25 percent chance to crew receiving damage so it just helps your crew avoid damage um where this is just a little bit less it it, it it's only 20 percent now same deal this you can use as many times uh as you as you want within a battle but it will always cost you uh, 10,000 silver, uh, where the standard med kit, if you will, uh, you can only use once in any given battle, and it uh, will will only charge you when you use it. So if you don't use it, you aren't charged. Um, just a little tip uh, that I found is that I, if I have a tank that needs, uh, seems like I have a lot of damaged modules in a in a battle then I might run um, an, an enhanced repair kit because I need to use that repair kit multiple times in a battle. But if I only, let's say my crew gets knocked out maybe once uh, or you know any crew member only gets knocked out like once in a battle, then I'll tend to use uh, the standard med kit just to save me money because if they don't get damaged and I don't need to repair them, then I can save myself 10,000 silver in that battle. So, so by by you know you being smart about what consumables you put on your tank um, you might be able to save yourself some silver so these are the first four uh, consumables the next four are a little different so uh, the next one that we're going to cover is enhanced rations this is um, again it's kind of like it the enhanced ones you can use it as many times as you want excuse me in battle it does only um, it's only active for a certain amount of time and it also has a cooldown period where once you've used it it's going to take take some time before you can use it again so what this uh what this does is when you haven't used it it's just on your tank uh and you're in battle with it it gives you a 10 percent increase to commander xp and gives you a 10 percent increase to crew performance or those skills that that commander has and so this is really nice because it's passive. You don't have to actively use it. But if you want a little kick up with those uh, commander skills, then you can use rations and you can actually see a 15% increase in your crew performance, which is pretty nice um, when you need it. But also it is one of those consumables that is always going to charge you uh, 10,000 silver, whether you use it or not. And then you have um, enhanced fire suppression. And this active, when you use it, it literally puts out the fire. Um, if you don't actively use it, um, then what it's doing is, uh, you know, doing a minus 25% chance to uh, fire. So we talked about the detailed stats and there's a percentage chance that your tank will catch on fire. Well, this um, will actually reduce that chance by 25%. So there you go. You do have a, an option for a what I'll call standard fire extinguisher. 
Uh, again, this is the enhanced, so it is always going to charge you 10,000 silver per battle. Where this one, uh, the kind of the standard, if you will, uh, fire suppressor, the, it only charges you uh, if you use it. And it is a passive boost of 20% chance to, to reduce that fire chance uh, on your tank. Uh, so, but you only get to use it one time per battle. And then the, the last um, consumable here to consider is the enhanced fuel boost. This also you can use as many times in battle. It is enhanced, so that means you're, it's always kind of active, if you will. And that means that it's 10,000 silver every battle, no matter whether you use it or not. But when you actively use it, it kicks up your horsepower by 10%. When you, when you don't use it and it's just on your tank, even though you're being charged 10,000 uh, silver per battle, you get a passive boost of 5% to your max speed and a 10% to that turret rotation speed. So if you have a tank that uh, you want to increase the speed or you have a tank that has a slow turret, you know, putting one of these uh, enhanced fuel boosts on might help you out a little bit. So kind of consider uh, the fuel boost uh, consumable for those tanks. So there you go. There's your consumables. What I would say is you want to think about, you want to think about what equipment. First, you want to think about what your tank does well and what it doesn't do well. And then you want to think about what equipment you have on your tank, what skills your commander has, and then start to think about, okay, what what consumables would help complement those things that I'm currently currently already using on my tank, like my equipment or my commander commander skills. So thinking of these things in combination really helps bring out the best of, of that particular tank that you're playing and the play style you're playing it with. So just consider that when you're, when you're thinking about um, the different uh, consumable types to select. All right. Um, I, think, I think that's it for consumables. So if, the, if I've missed anything or you want me to add something that I missed in this video, you know, let me know. Um, oh, you know, before I go, I do want to give you a tip. This is something that really helped me uh, stop, to w stop wasting consumables. Try to be consistent as to where you put your consumables in your slot. I've maybe mentioned this in other videos, but I'll mention it here as well. I always try to put my uh, repair kits, either whether they're enhanced or standard, in my first slot. And then I put uh, my med kits, if I'm running a med kit, in my second slot, and my rations in the third slot. Now, that doesn't mean that you'll have some tanks that you only run, like, let's say, a repair kit, some rations, and uh, a fire extinguisher. Um, what I would tend to do is put the repair kit in the first slot, the rations potentially in the third slot, and then the fire extinguisher in the middle slot. Notice that my repair kit and my rations are going to be uh, basically be in the typical slot and the uh, uh, the extinguisher just replaced my med kit. The reason I do that is in battle it does on the HUD show you what buttons to push for each of your consumables but when you're in the fight it really helps to not have to look down and figure out which button to push and so if you're needing a repair kit and that is generally in the first slot then you know you will train yourself to know that your repair kit is usually the X button. And so you hit that X button and most times, unless it's a really weird tank setup, and you're going to recognize when you're playing a tank that's got a weird setup. In fact, I take some time to just think about that a little bit before I go in battle uh, with a tank that has a little bit different consumable setup so that I kind of recognize my consumables are in different, different slots. But in general, if you can get consistent about that, you don't have to take the time to look and you're, and you're ensuring yourself that you're using the right consumable at the right time and not wasting that silver uh, if you can help it. So just a little tip there. Uh, again, if there's additional <laughs> information that you want, let me know in the comments. Your feedback is always welcome. If this was helpful, please hit that like button. Please subscribe as it helps the channel grow. We'll see you in the next one. T take care.